The foundation is one of the most important aspects of building construction, because it provides a stable base for the rest of the building. If the foundation is not properly constructed or fails to meet the building codes, the entire structure could be at risk of collapse. This video seeks to educate and avail vital information to the viewer on the importance of foundation and why sturdy foundations are key to the success of the project. There are several different types of foundations that can be used depending on the needs of the project. There are several factors that need to be considered when designing and constructing a foundation. The most important factors include the soil type and condition, the weight of the building, and the climate conditions. The type of soil will dictate the type of foundation that needs to be used. Soil that is sandy or has a lot of rocks will require a heavier foundation than soil that is wet and muddy. The climate conditions will also affect the design of the foundation because it needs to be able to withstand extreme weather conditions like high winds, sandstorms, earthquakes, typhoons and tornadoes. A foundation is an important part of any building construction pro It is the part of the structure that sits below the surface and provides a stable base for the rest of the building. Without a strong foundation, a building is at risk of collapse. One of the most important jobs of a foundation is to evenly distribute that weight into the subsurface as downward pressure. Soil isn't infinitely strong against vertical loads. It can fail just like any other component of a structural system. When the forces are high enough to shear through soil particles, we call it a bearing failure. The soil directly below the load is forced downward, pushing the rest of the soil to either side, eventually bulging up around the edges. Even if the subsurface doesn't full-on shear, it can still settle. This happens when the particles are compressed more closely together, and it usually takes place over a longer period of time. There are a variety of factors that go into designing and constructing a foundation that is suitable for a specific building. The soil type, climate, and weight of the building all need to be taken into account. Structural and geotechnical engineers are professional designers of foundations whose main directive is to avoid failure of the structure. The whole process of what might go wrong for a structure constructed on a bad foundation may begin during design, exacerbated during construction and wreaked finally by the vagaries of the weather. There are several different types of foundations that can be used, depending on the needs of the project. Some common foundation types include Slab foundation. A slab foundation is a flat concrete pad that sits directly on the ground. It is typically used for smaller buildings or for buildings where the weight is distributed evenly across the floor. Pier and beam foundation. A pier and beam foundation consists of a series of concrete piers that support wooden beams. This type of foundation is most commonly used for homes in areas with expansive soils or in high seismic areas. Basement foundation. A basement foundation is a type of foundation that includes a basement. This type of foundation is most commonly used in colder climates, as the basement can provide extra insulation and warmth. Crawl space foundation. A crawl space foundation is a type of foundation that includes a crawl space. This type of foundation is most commonly used in warmer climates, as the crawl space can provide extra ventilation and cooling for the home. Pile foundation. A pile foundation is a type of foundation that transfers the weight of the structure deep below the earth's surface, where the soil layers are strong to support that weight. Piles are slender columns of either concrete, timber or steel which can be driven, cast in situ or bored on the ground. Foundations are generally divided into two classes. Deep and shallow. Most buildings with only a few stories, including nearly all homes, are built on shallow foundations. That means they transfer the structure's weight to the surface of the earth, or just below it. Tall buildings, elevated roadways, bridges, and coastal structures often rely on deep foundations for support. This is especially true when the soils of the surface are not as firm as the layers farther below the ground. Some of the most common causes of foundations' failures are Settlement Settlement in a structure refers to the distortion or disruption of parts of a building due to unequal compression of its foundations, shrinkage, such as that which occurs in timber-framed buildings as the frame adjusts its moisture content, or undue loads being applied to the building after its initial construction, freezing and thawing. Temperature changes during winter and summer may induce excess pressure beyond which the soil structure cannot withstand the forces induced leading to the collapse of the foundation the foundation will punt through the soil leading to the collapse of the building. Hydrostatic pressure where the groundwater level is near the bottom level of the foundation, moisture in the ground, may apply a vertical force to the foundations. This force if it is more than the foundation's weight capacity, it may lead to movements causing cracks, uneven settlement and failure of the foundation. Erosion buildings constructed near water catchment areas and structures, like bridges and retaining walls, that are regularly subject to flowing water. 
Over time, or sometimes over the course of a single flood, that water can create erosion, undermining the structure. Many foundations are specifically designed to combat erosion, either with hard armoring, or by simply being installed so deep into the earth, that they can't be undermined by quickly flowing water. Design Error Unfortunately, many foundations are designed with insufficient prior subsurface investigation. This may result in inadequate support for the structures will often require expensive corrective work. A common design error is often made in order to save initial construction costs. For instance, the designers provide pile support for the walls and the roof, while the main floor is placed on compacted sand overfills. Construction errors. Construction errors may exist due to improper concrete work in the foundation, such as improper concrete quality and haphazard placement of rebar. Cavities within cast and place piles are often found where quality control is lacking. The omission of verification methods early in the construction progress is mostly responsible for the enormous losses caused by such errors. A well-designed foundation functioning well for the design life of the structure should be able to effectively perform the following tasks to survive the period and normally for structures in civil engineering, the design life is 50 to 100 years upon which major renovations are required or even decommissioning of the structure. Function 1 of a foundation is to distribute the downward force of a structure over a large enough area to reduce the bearing pressure and avoid shear failures or excessive settlement. Function 2 of a foundation is to resist earthquake loads on structures causing shifting and shaking with very little warning. Just like the normal weight of a structure, these loads must also be resisted by a foundation to prevent it from lifting or sliding along the ground. Weak foundations may fail during or after an earthquake event. Function 3 of a foundation use of raft or mat foundation is for columns and walls foundations, where the loads from the structure on columns and walls are very high. Rafts are used to prevent differential settlement of individual footings, thus designed as the combined footing of all the load-bearing elements of the structure. Function 4 of a foundation is in geographical locations that experience extreme weather seasons like winter and summer, freezing, and thawing may affect shallow foundations hence piling may be appropriate to arrest the situation. Deep piling allows the foundation level to be set at a region deep enough, where freezing and thawing have no effect on the ground. Subscribe to channel. Subscribe to channel.